What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sims and this is That Comic Show. Infinity War is right around the corner. April 2018, Infinity War is dropping. I know you're excited because I'm excited and if I'm excited, you gotta be excited. I think. You sure? But anyway, we gotta talk about who's gonna be in this movie. Now, it's been reported that it's supposed to be 65 characters in this movie alone. But let's talk about the characters we've seen already. So, I'm just gonna run down the list and I'm gonna go in chronological order of which they were actually first discovered in the MCU. So, let's get to it. The first one we have is Iron Man. Iron Man kicked everything off. 2008, we saw Robert Downey Jr. play the role as Iron Man. So we're definitely gonna see Iron Man in this movie. The Hulk. Edward Norton, psych. <laughs> My man Mark Ruffalo, we actually see him in 2012 Avengers, but we do see the Incredible Hulk make his entrance in the MCU in 2008. We're definitely gonna see the Incredible Hulk in this movie. Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury, made his first appearance in 2008 in an after credit scene for Iron Man. So, we have to see him in this movie. I mean, Samuel L. It's Nick Fury. Black Widow, Agent Romanoff, Natasha Romanoff, Natasha Rushman. There's all different types of names Natalie was actually going by, but we're gonna stick with Black Widow. Black Widow is actually stepping in in 2010 Iron Man 2. She's actually a double agent. She's playing as an intern or some assistant in Stark Industry, but she's also playing the role as Black Widow. We're definitely gonna see Black Widow in this movie. Thor. Thor made his triumphant appearance in 2011 film Thor. So we're definitely going to see Thor. I mean, we saw him with no eye and now he's riding around in space. So why not? We got to see him. And he has no hair. Hawkeye. We actually see Hawkeye in Thor's movie back in 2011. He makes his appearance, but we see him called as Agent Barton. We don't hear him named as Hawkeye, we hear him as Agent Barton, and that's because of my man Coulson. Now I have a speculation. I believe that we're gonna see Agent Coulson in this actual movie. I think he's gonna make his triumphant return in Avengers Infinity War. Now we have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. going on, and he has been a pinnacle role in that TV series, but I believe we're probably gonna see Agent Coulson make his triumphant return. But that was a speculation within another. That was weird. Let's, let's go again. So, like I said, Hawkeye, 2011, he made his appearance. We're definitely gonna see Hawkeye in this movie. Now, Captain America, 2011, the first Avenger. We see Captain America make his first appearance in the movie, the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we're definitely gonna see him in this universe. Now, we've seen a lot of transitions going on with Captain America, but he's definitely gonna be no man, no nad. No nad, no man, no man. Nomad. We're definitely going to see him as Nomad in this particular movie. Loki. Now, we definitely saw Loki transform as a villain all the way to an anti-hero. And we're going to see him end up as maybe an anti-hero slash villain slash hero. Not really sure where Loki's going to fall, but we're definitely going to see Loki in this movie. War Machine. No, 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 not, not, not that. No, not him. <laughs> not that actor. I hope not that actor. Jeez. We're going to stick with the current War Machine. War Machine is definitely going to be in this movie. We see him in the trailer, so we got to see him in the movie. He got to play some type of role, and hopefully he don't die. I mean, he was injured, but hopefully he doesn't die. Now, this is another speculation. I believe we're going to see Lady Sith. I think we're going to see Lady Sith in this movie because she was not in... Thor Ragnarok. She wasn't in that movie whatsoever. Now we know that the actress, she, you know, there was double booking and everything like that, but we're not talking about that. I think we're really going to see Lady Sith in this movie. She's going to make her appearance during the War of Infinity. Winter Soldier. Now, we see Winter Soldier in Captain America, well, Winter Soldier. <laughs> We actually see him for the first time. This movie came out in 2014 and he is a diabolical force. He started as a villain but now we see that he's turning back into a hero. So we're definitely going to see him. We saw him at the end of Civil War being frozen and we see him in the after credit scene of Black Panther. So of course, 
Winter Soldier is going to be front and center for Infinity War. Falcon. Now we actually see Falcon in 2014 Winter Soldier. Falcon comes through and he is here and he is flying all over the place. Now we're definitely going to see Falcon in this movie. We see it in the trailer so we got to see him in this movie. The Guardians. Star-Lord. Groot. Rocket. Drax, and of course, more. We're definitely going to see the Guardians of the Galaxy in this movie. The Guardians have been making their way through the universe, and they're going to run into Thor at some point. So we're definitely going to see the Guardians in this movie. Can't wait. 2015, we saw our first glimpse of Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch comes through, and she is now a member of the team. Unfortunately, her brother didn't make the cut, literally, and now she's going to be part of the team. We're definitely going to see her play a very, very pinnacle role in this movie. Vision. Who else? We actually see Vision in the same movie, 2015, Age of Ultron, The Avengers' second movie. And we're going to see him play an even bigger role because guess what? He has an Infinity Stone in his head. So Thanos got to get that stone somehow. So we're definitely going to see either the end of Vision or we're going to see something worse. But what could be worse than the end of this? Ant-Man. 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 Yeah, we're going to see Ant-Man in this movie. Now, we might see him as Giant Man as we saw in Civil War, or we might just see him as Ant-Man. I mean, we did see him in 2015 in the Ant-Man movie, so why not? We got to see him in this movie. Now, we may not see the Wasp because they're thinking about holding that off until their movie that comes out later this year, but you never know. Marvel likes to surprise us, so you never know. Spider-Man. We see Spider-Man in this movie as well. 2016, we saw Civil War, and we saw Spider-Man for the very first time, the new Spider-Man in this universe. So, we're definitely going to see this Spider-Man. I mean, we saw him in the trailer. He has the Iron Suit. Well, the Iron Spider-Man suit, maybe. But we're, going, we're definitely going to see him in this movie. Like Panther. Black Panther was a huge movie that came out this year, but we actually saw Black Panther in 2016. We saw him in the Civil War movie, and he was a great addition to the MCU, and his movie was awesome. We're definitely going to see him, and I think most of the fight is going to happen right there in Wakanda. 2016 we saw Doctor Strange. He made his appearance in the Marvel Universe. Now we heard of the name Stephen Strange back in 2014's Winter Soldier and we finally saw the actual character in 2016, Doctor Strange. I'm so excited that he's finally in this universe and we're also going to see Benedict Wong. Well the actor's name is Benedict Wong but we're going to see him Wong in this movie as well. I mean they're the only two people who could actually defend the sanctums so that's who we're gonna see in this movie mantis we actually saw mantis in guardians of the galaxy volume 2 in 2017 she actually plays a very pinnacle role in that movie and we're definitely gonna see her play another role in this movie it's gonna be very interesting now this is another speculation but if you remember at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the original comic book version of the Guardians of the Galaxy all came together. I believe that in this movie, while there's a war going on and while the big fight is happening, I believe we're going to see the old school Guardians of the Galaxy make their appearance in this movie. It, it just seems like maybe that was just, okay, that could have been just a, a nice little cameo to the comic book guys and girls. But I believe we're going to see these characters in this movie. Heimdall. Now, we actually see Heimdall in 2011 Thor, but we see him all throughout Thor's uh, trilogy. We're definitely going to see him play a role in this movie. I still believe that he carries the Soul Stone. I believe he still has the Soul Stone and it's going to be revealed in this movie. So, whichever way you want to look at it, Heimdall is going to play a role in this movie. The Black Order. Now, we're stepping into the villain territory. We're definitely going to see the Black Order. We're going to see some characters from the Black Order. We're going to see Corvus Glaive, the Ebony Maw, the Black Dwarf, Supergiant, and Proxima Midnight. We're going to see the Black Order in this movie. They're going to be riding around with the villain of the MCU. And who else do you think I'm talking about? Thanos. Thanos made his appearance in 2012 
Avenger at the after credit scene. From that moment on, we knew that there was a greater, bigger boss than any of the other bosses or villains that will ever be in the MCU. This is the villain of the MCU. So we're definitely gonna see the villain of the MCU. Now I have a couple of speculations of who we may see in this movie. Now, I believe we might see Red Skull. Red Skull might make an appearance in this movie because of the fact that the Tesseract sent them into space that doesn't necessarily mean that he's dead. So we might see the Red Skull make an appearance in this movie. We might also see the resurrection of Quicksilver. Remember, Scarlet Witch has a lot of power and she's learning how to use her power. At some point, you might be able to resurrect someone from the dead. Who knows? You might see. And of course, lastly, the last person that I know for sure we're going to see in this movie is the one above all, or at least in my opinion, the one above all. But the one that we're going to see is definitely going to be Stan Lee. Stan Lee is going to make the ultimate cameo in this movie, and you heard it here first. I believe his cameo is going to address us, the fans, directly. That's what I believe is going to happen. I trust that this is going to happen. Marvel, please make that happen. That would be awesome. So, these are all the characters that we know for sure is going to be in the MCU movie, with the exceptions of the maybes and the speculations, but we know for sure all of these characters have been in the MCU for the last 10 years, and we're definitely going to see them make their appearance. Now, I didn't mention any of the TV universe characters, such as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., or the Defenders, I didn't mention them for good reason because, to be honest with you, I don't know if they're going to be in this movie, but it will be a nice little nod to them if they are in this movie. I mean, if all this is going on in the world, why wouldn't they be there? So, there's a good chance we might just see them as well. Like I said, I hope you guys are getting ready for Infinity War. I'm super stoked and I am ready for Infinity War. I got t-shirts for days. I got a suit on the way. I'm ready for this red carpet event. If I get to the red carpet event, I'm trying to get to that red carpet event. Help me get to that red carpet event. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your folks, tell your friends. Follow us everywhere. We are everywhere. We keep doing our thing and y'all keep doing y'all thing. So, this is your boy Sam's. This is that comic show and I hope you're ready. Because I'm ready. Zam's out.